So let's first look at creating a new feature from scratch. So I'm in a blank file here. Uh, you can see I don't have any feature definitions. I'm going to right click on alignment and we're going to open the feature definition wizard. And once it's open, it's pretty straightforward. You can navigate uh, over here on the left to the different areas of the dialog, or you can use the uh, arrows um, down on the bottom of the dialog to navigate as well. So we're going to start out. Notice you have two options. We're going to start out using the new option. Uh, we're going to create a feature type alignment. I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it uh, my, um, my feature. We're going to specify where we want this to go. And so I'm going to put it under alignment road. Uh, under linear, uh, again, I can create a, I can use an existing linear feature symbology or I can create a new one. So I'm going to create one called my linear symbology. And then we have different options what we want to do for the, for the templates. Now, in this case here, I'm going to create a new uh, template. Um, I'm just going to call it my template. I uh, specify where I want that to go. So I'm going to put it under linear alignment road. And I can specify level colors and weights. In this case, I'm just going to specify a couple of things. We could do the same thing with annotation groups, uh, profile intersection templates. We can specify existing, new, or uh, transient. Now, uh, here we've done a new one. Now, let's go to Profile Feature Symbology, and I'm going to uh, create something, a new one. I'll call it My Profile Symbology. And what I'm going to select here is Transient. Now, what Transient is, is it actually remembers the um, template that I created earlier, and it keeps it in memory. So that's what it means by transient. So it act, I'm going to say, okay, I want you to use that one that I created earlier in the um, dialog. Finally, feature definition properties. Uh, I could put in a, a description. I could um, assign a, a template to this if I wanted to. For example, I could come down into um, templates, uh, rural, pick which one I want, say okay. Uh, do any item types, and then I can say uh, finish. Now let's take a look at what we have. Uh, you can see under I've created the new feature called My Feature. Um, if I drill down into my feature symbologies, you can see here under Linear, I created my Linear Symbology. Under Profile, I created my Profile Symbology. Um, Finally, if I come up here under Element Templates, you can see that it automatically created this Element Template for me with the right information. Finally, if we want to see how all this is linked together, we can go to the Properties. You can say it, see that it's pointing to the proper template, the proper linear and profile feature symbology. Now let's go look at another example. Let's just open up a, a, a new file. And once again, you can see I don't have any features in this file, but I'm going to do this one a little bit different. Here, I'm going to go to our one of our existing DGN libraries. I'm going to come down into Feature Definitions, Common Features, Alignment, and Road. And so you can see these features that we've already got created. Now, what I'm going to do this time, instead of starting from scratch, I'm going to use this as my starting point and I want to use the copy mode. So if I right click on this and open feature definition wizard, now what I want you to notice is this time because I right clicked on an existing feature, it automatically opens it in copy mode. Um, so I'm going to give it a name. Once again, I'll call it my, my feature. Um, I'm going to tell it where I want to put it. In this case, I want to go under alignment road. Uh, linear Feature Symbology. Notice it automatically starts in existing mode and it's pointing to the same Linear Feature Symbology that's used by Geom Baseline. I can leave it like that or I can say no, I want to create a copy of that one and let's call it My Linear Symbology. Uh, tell it where I want to put it. And again, notice these are automatically going to point to the existing templates um, for the Geom baseline. Now, I can leave it like that, 
or I can say no I want to make a copy of that one I can give it a new name so I'm gonna call it a uh, new template and I can tell it where I want it but notice it automatically keeps the symbology of the existing template and I can just for example choose to change one thing so let's just change the 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 color okay same thing here with profile feature symbology I can point to geom baseline in fact on this one let's just leave it alone and let it point to uh, the existing ones there and I'm gonna leave these alone and just click finish okay now let's come down into our file and take a look at what we have once again you can see it created a, a feature called my feature if I come down and look under feature symbologies remember I ask it to create a new linear symbology but notice under profile it just used the existing geom baseline which is what I ask it to do if I come up under templates and go to manage and and look under linear alignment road and you see that it's created me a new template and finally if I want to see how it sets up all my relationships I can just go to properties uh, you can see I didn't set a quarter template my linear feature is being set properly as well as my profile feature as well